I knew you'd drop by, Ryan. Liza needs all the support she can get. Liza, can you please tell me what's going on with Jake? Please. Everything was fine with the custody agreement that you two had. Well, people change. And not always for the better. I don't have to tell you how shocked Liza was. She's devastated. Please, Adam. I can explain to Ryan. I know. I just want to convey the gravity of the situation. Jake got some bad advice, and he's running with it. And he wants to go forward and get custody of Colby. The thing is, he's not going to win custody of Colby. And now Jillian's involved? I mean, I, I don't get it. She's so emotional about this, Liza. She's desperate. She's desperate to marry him. She's desperate for this whole pop-up family. I don't get it. Jake is the one who wants custody of Colby, and she loves him. She wants to be loyal. Liza, I, I know Jillian. Loyalty's one thing, but taking away your baby? Marriage? She's holding something back. Love is a powerful motivator. Yes, it is. That's exactly why I'm here. Are you still in love with Jillian? Yes, I am. And? And I want her back. There's so much that is unfinished with us, Liza. She won't even talk to me. Hardly. Well, maybe the feelings that she has isn't something she can share with you. If she loves Jake, if she really loves him, maybe the gracious thing to do is to bow out, Ryan. If I thought that in her heart, Jillian believed that Jake was, was the one, was the right guy, then I would back off. I really would. But he's got this hold on her, Liza. He's, I can't explain it, and she won't explain it. That's the way you see it, but you're on the outside. Asking Jillian to reconsider the love that you once shared is, is pointless if she's moved on. Ryan isn't the first man in the world ever to hope for a second chance. Jillian owes him to hear him out. Well, you see, that's the thing. The thing is, I, I told her how I feel. And what did she say? <sighs> it doesn't matter. I think she's lying. Listen, Ryan. No one wants to believe that the love that you share with someone, they can share with someone else. But if she's telling you that she does... She believes that Jake can give her a nice, safe life. He helped her through her rehab after the accident, and if she's grateful for that, I understand. I really do. I just know that there's something more to it, Liza, and I was hoping that you could help me figure this out. What are you doing here? What have you been telling him? Nobody is telling anybody anything. What would Liza be telling me that get, got you so freaked out? Nothing. Uh, just forget about it. We don't even want to be here. Why, why, why is he here? Why shouldn't I be Well, here? last I heard, oh, I'm sorry, last I was promised, uh, you weren't going to be living here. What, what, is, what exactly did you mean by, uh, by Adam not being in your life anymore? I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm, forget about it. It's just useless. Well, we're here. Death court order from Jack, we're here. It's temporary until we work things out. Work things out? What? Not letting me see my daughter the day before my wedding is a, is a solution to you? You chose this road, Martin. She had every right to get a court order. Colby belongs with her mother. And her father, right? Huh? Her father? But this... Doing this right now, giving Colby over to Liza, makes me sick while you're here. She's... She's teething. She has a little bit of a fever. Look, I, I asked you to trust me. And I told you that I would set things right. I, I, I told you that I would, but you're the one who needed to force the issue. Yes, I am forcing the issue. And the way that you're feeling right now, the way that you don't like very much, is because you forced the issue, because you needed to go to court, because you needed to have full custody. Yes, I, I will get full custody. I promise you that is never going to happen. Another promise from you? Uh, if it is, I, I feel much better about my chances in court. Jake, please. Stick her. Come on, sir. That is the last time I give it to you without permission. Don't be a fool, Jake. I, I, I won't. I won't. Jake 
certainly is going for the jugular. I didn't think he had it in him. Well, when you're fighting for your children, you find strength that you never knew you had. I'm really sorry that we can't help you with Jillian. Yeah. You see, when she came in here, how freaked out she got about thinking that you were telling me something? Why? Well, it wouldn't be my right if there was something that she was keeping from you that she didn't want you to know, which I, I don't know that there's anything. You know, I really should go upstairs. She's restless, and I should check her temperature. And would you see Ryan out? I'll see you later. Bye. Teething is agony. They say uh, adults couldn't withstand the pain. Have it in your shoes, Ryan. I know what it's like to have something gnawing away at you and you have no idea what it is. It's just a feeling. It's overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. Jillian seemed anything but neutral about you just now. She did go a little ballistic when she saw me in here with both of you, didn't she? Yes, it was as if she was uh, scared almost. Yeah, of what? She seemed afraid to leave me alone with you, you two. Well, that's just something you'll have to work out with, uh, with Jillian. I, th I think you really think it's time you should go. This will all work itself out one way or another. Wait a second, Adam. You know what's going on here, don't you? I know you're disappointed, but I think possibly you should just try to accept the situation. You didn't answer my question. Please leave. I don't have what any... What more is there to know, Adam? Adam, whatever you're thinking, I do not want to trash your marriage with Liza. This is a secret between you two. That's how it's got to stay. Yes, it does. But maybe it will stay. If you heard it from somebody else. And how would I do that? You overheard it from somebody else. Then I wouldn't have told you. And technically, you'd be keeping your promise to Liza. Yes, yes. So with the letter of the agreement, I'd still be breaking the spirit of the promise. Come on, Adam. That's debatable. Jake and Jillian are getting married tomorrow. I do not have a lot of time here. What if she still chooses Jake? Let her choose Jake if she wants. All I'm asking is to have the chance to do everything in my power to convince her otherwise. And I know what she's hiding is the key to that. It's the key to her happiness. Follow me. What you're about to see has the potential of changing both of our lives. my family from uh, terrorist attack, global disasters, and the human race, as I perceive it. Yeah, I've heard of these. You can watch everything that goes on in the, in the house, right? And hear everything as well. Adam, why are you doing this? I mean, you really have no reason to help me. No, you're wrong. I'm doing it for Haley. If she needed a friend, you were there. You never felt, we never faltered. I owe you for that. Here's Liza. Keep your eyes and ears open. If Liza never hears about this, you and I will both be fine. You'll even get back the girl of your dreams, no doubt. But don't betray me. I'll never say a word. Is Ryan gone? He's not here. 
Ryan was in quite a state, wasn't he? Well, he's in love with Jillian. He knows he's going to lose her. Yeah, well, the epiphany is a bit late. She's marrying Jake tomorrow morning. You can't blame him for finally understanding his heart. It's just that Jillian has moved on. She seems to be on a mission. She's uh, beside Jake, supporting him in everything, every threat he makes to you. Jake is desperate. He is filing for custody of Colby, thinking that she feels that it's her, her duty to stand beside him. Well, quite frankly, just between you and me, I think she is a total fraud. Well, I feel sorry for her. Why? She's going ahead and marrying the guy, isn't she? No, I don't understand why you're being so critical. You married me. You didn't tell me the truth about my own child. I was afraid you'd leave me. Well, Jillian isn't afraid for herself. She loves Jake. And she's going to keep the promise for the rest of her life for Colby's sake, for Jake's. Well, she doesn't have to do that. She doesn't. She could. That's no way to start a marriage. Believe me, I've learned that the painful lesson the hard way. How do you think that she's supposed to say anything to Jake about him not being Colby's father? He would know that she had been lying to him all this time. Well, if she has the faith that she should have in Jake's love for her, then she'll tell him someday, sooner or later. Well, I don't think any man could survive that truth. Not even you. But I don't feel sorry for Jillian. If she really loved Jake, she would have told him a long time ago that he's not Colby's father. Do not stand in judgment of that poor girl. There's nothing in this for her. She's lying to Jake now. And all the while, he's becoming more and more attached to my daughter. You, you want to blame somebody? Why don't you blame yourself? This deception, it's, it's yours. Oh, my God. You're the one who has compromised all of us. And, Jillian, and I don't want doing? Jake to find out the truth. Uh, but your cover-up doesn't change the facts. Forgive me for wanting a clean slate. But that's exactly, exactly what Jake is going to want when he finds out Jillian has betrayed him. He is not going to dump her. She's just trying to keep his heart from being shattered. Hogwash. Huh? He's going to throttle the princess with her own tiara. Well, you know what? Somebody should throttle you. I'm going to go check on Colby. <coughs> your thoughts, Ryan. I know this isn't what you expected. How did this happen? Jake was Liza's donor. Obviously not. I gave Liza her child. And Liza didn't know about this? I planned to tell her. So, so what did you do? You switched the sperm samples? I've been paying for that act of love in ways you can't even imagine. Adam, this is not love. That... That is, that is complete violation. All right, save it. I've already been told what a blackguard I am. The point is, the fact is, that Colby is not Jake's. She's mine. How long has Liza known about this? A couple of months. And why? Why would you tell Jillian? No, I, I didn't tell Jillian. David Hayward let that one out. I didn't want anyone to know. Until you were ready. At this moment, do my motives and my action mean anything considering what's at stake for Jillian? She is harboring a secret that could ruin her life. Please, Adam, you don't give a damn about Jillian. She's just a loose string as far as you're concerned. Well, of course, I tried to keep her quiet. I didn't want her telling Jake. There's no reasoning with that woman, you know. The night of the accident. This all happened the night of the accident. She was so frantic, she was driving like crazy, and all she wanted to do was get to Jake. And now you know why. 
I think you better leave. Liza shouldn't find you here. You gave me your word, how you found out about Colby. Stays between us. Yes, it does. I asked you why you were doing this. And you told me because you owed me for being such a good friend to Haley. Well, I don't believe that, Adam. And I really, really don't respect you for using it as an excuse. Integrity and brains. Good for you. I guess that makes you more than just some man who works for my wife. I am. Um... You look troubled. Is Colby all right? Uh, yes, yeah, she's still running the fever from the teething, but I got a phone call from the night supervisor at the station. He's ankle deep in water, and I need to go down oh. there. Fine, I'll, I'll tell the nanny that uh, that you've left, and I'll I'll sit with Colby. No, no, uh, Harriet's gone. I, I gave Winifred the night off. Oh, good, good, excellent. I'll give me some private time to watch Colby sleeping. No, I'll call Ryan, and I'll have him go down to the station. And no, no, her. hold on. Uh, Ryan, uh, he was totally distracted when he left here. Uh, well, you should, really, I should go and and deal directly with the insurance people and the uh, the cleanup crews. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to help. I don't like your concept of help. You just you just want a, a few moments alone with Colby, then you'll get ideas. Oh, Liza. You'd blow up WRCW if you thought he'd get me out of this house. You could be alone with her for a few minutes. Are you suggesting that I am responsible for the water main break at the station? This from a sperm switcher. Oh, how could I possibly question you? All right, you have a point. A very good point. I was thinking about sweeping Colby off to the far reaches of the earth, but... I wouldn't have a moment's joy if you weren't there with us. Despite everything you've done. Despite everything. I've been clumsy and foolish in trying to bring us back together. But that's all I ever really wanted. Leaving is the farthest thought from my mind. So Colby and I will be here when you return. You can uh, lock us in the safe room if you'd like. Don't tempt me. Can you say dad? Dad, dad? That's me. Dad, dad. <laughs> hey, let's make a wish. Hey, a wish. Let's wish that uh, Ryan tells Jake the truth about us tonight. Dad, dad, dad. Dad, dad, yeah. And you can grow up and you won't even know who Jake Definitely. is. <laughs> and I swear you'll never have to look at, an, at a Martin as long as you live. All right? Hi, Adam. Oh, uh, Winifred let me in before she left. Now, this house has an intercom. I would like for Winifred to learn to use it. Uh, is, this is a little late for a social call, isn't it? Actually, I'm here to see Liza. Do you know when she's going to be back? No. There was some kind of an emergency down at the station. What's this about? Colby and I were enjoying some private time together. I can see that. Well, Jake would like a little private time with her as well, especially on his wedding day. I have an idea. Maybe you could help me convince Liza to let Jake have Colby on his wedding day. I'm not going to help you convince Liza to do anything. Oh. Colby does not belong at Jake's wedding any more than I do. She's his daughter, Adam. Yes, and her mother forbids her to see Jake Martin, which is fine with me. Why? Because it was your idea? You're always into something, you know, whether it's uh, controlling a merger or controlling a child. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? You've got to be kidding me, Junior. You tried to run his whole life. You're doing the same thing with Colby. Yeah, before Jake sends you out to do his bidding in the future, you might remind him that he's the one that started this custody fight. And Liza is fighting him on a direct instructions from her attorney. And I couldn't be happier. Dixie, hi. What are you doing here? This is uh, running errands for the Martin Cabal. I might as well get straight to the point. I'm here to ask you to please let Jake have Colby on his wedding day. I mean, it means so much to him. I mean, and uh, you had Jake. You were at Adam's wedding. I think he even held Colby during the ceremony, right? I remember. I remember. Don't let her, like, look at her dad's wedding pictures years from now and... and wonder where she was? Dixie, um... 
Uh, perhaps I was a little harsh earlier. I, uh, we're all very emotional right now. Colby shouldn't suffer just because the adults can't come to terms. So, Colby should be included in both her parents' lives, whatever the final outcome. Has her fever broken? Yes, it's gone down some. Uh, she's teething. So I suppose it's a painful time for everyone. If her fever is broken by the morning, she can go. Thank you so much. Well, I don't think there's any hurry to get you dressed, my darling. Because, um... After Ryan spills his guts, I don't think there's going to be any wedding. Well, Jake isn't here yet. You don't have to go through this. Yes, I do. I said I would. This is wedding day. Yeah, well, yeah. I just can't believe that I'm increasing his chances to get Colby. Yes, sweet baby. Uh, don't worry about it. Jake's plans are about as stable as a trailer in a tornado. You sound optimistic. Are you trying to tell me something? Jillian doesn't know what or who she wants from one minute to the next. How can you say that? Well, she's a, she's a royal flibberty gibbet. <laughs> She'll probably change her mind as she's walking down the aisle. And you're saying this because... <laughs> Liza, I, I'm just... I'm trying to make you feel better. I know this custody suit has upset you, and I, but now is not the time to lose heart, my darling. Well, I just don't want any more of your pep talks. I, I need to talk to Haley about the ad campaign. Oh, good. Let me hold. Let me hold. Please. Ah, oh, that's yeah, sweet. Ah. Oh. Cutter? No. Just take a couple of pictures, okay? We don't want to get intrusive. I'll, I'll be discreet. I mean, it's not every day you get to cover a real princess in her wedding gown. It'll be great for the show. Really? The show's not the only thing. Sorry, Liza wants to talk to me. <clears throat> so, are you sure you're cool with me doing this? Hey, it's your job, right? Like you said, it'll be great for the segment. Yeah. Still, it must be hard on you. I'm cool. Better get my flash. Oh, Adam. We're here to take Colby to the wedding. To the wedding? You, you mean the wedding is... That's happening in a few hours. I've come for my daughter. Don't act so surprised. Give her to me. dressed and, and ready to go and uh dixie hi her bag is right there if you want to grab that certainly i got it um i put an extra set of clothes in there in case you need it if I speak to you for just a second? Alone? Alone? So, Liza, uh, my family and I appreciate you uh, letting us have Colby for the wedding. Well, you don't have to be so formal about it. I mean, any time you've ever wanted to see Colby, I've been cooperative, don't you think? Mm hmm I mean, I, I, I don't deny that. Well, why, why don't we just try to keep working it out, then? What do you say? Maybe you could just drop the custody suit. I mean, you, you and I, we, we could make this work, don't you think? 
You know, if, if I thought there was a chance we could work things out, it all pretty much died when I walked through the studio door. Adam was just holding Colby because I needed to speak uh, to the Haley. The reason I'm doing this is to get Colby as far away from Adam as I can. I walk in here and I, I see her in his arm. Jake, please. Look, I, I'm not trying to hurt you, but I have to go through with this. Colby's already caught in the middle. Imagine what's going to happen when she gets older. I, I never want her loyalties torn between me and I Adam. I would never let Adam exploit her that way. It's not a promise you can keep. I'm the one that can keep it. That's why I'm doing this. Bye, guys. This is what you want. It's not what I want. It's not what I want. I'm not trying to punish you, but I have to do this. I'll let the judge decide what's best for Colby. Dixie, you ready? Yeah. Go. Um, I will return her right after the reception, OK? Let's go. Thank you. Why are we all standing around? Would you please get to work? I thought you were going to stop the damn wedding. Jake, that he's not Colby's father. You could have put an end to this madness. Me? What are you talking about, Adam? This madness is all you're doing. You just... You wanted me to tell Jake? All you wanted me to do was stop the wedding? Yes. How could you let Jillian get married out of some sense of misguided loyalty and get your hands off of me before I swaddle you? Go ahead, Adam. You take your best shot. Believe me, you don't want to mess with me today. Oh, look at me. I'm quaking. You see how I'm quaking? I feel so damn tough. Why don't you stop Julian from marrying him? My reasons are none of your business, Adam. And guess what? You're not going to get me to do your dirty work for you. This is in your own best interest, Ryan. If you do this, we both get what we want. You know, Haley didn't do you justice. She told me that you would do anything to get what you want, but she didn't tell me how sick and how twisted you are. Nor did she mention how spineless you are. What are you doing walking around here, moping around like some kind of a lovesick schoolboy? Why don't you behave like a man and fight for the woman you love? And that means stopping that wedding, regardless of what I want. Ryan. Ryan! What is going on? What did you say to him? Um... Maybe before she left. Well, I liked her style. Obviously, you've done a great deal of research on your target audience. Uh, what were the demographics again? Demographics? Um, 18 to uh, 49. Oh, actually, um, I think the demographics were 18 to 34. But the appeal is going to be much broader. Scott, <laughs> would you mind showing Ms. Washington the fan mail demographics? This is Scott Chandler, one of our production assistants. Quickly becoming a first-rate cameraman. Scott, this is Ms. Washington. Ms. Washington, a pleasure. I heard you were coming. Uh, right this way. Chen, you too. <laughs> is this a family operation? Let me How are you doing? Down. Are you trying to blow your own deal? No, Eliza, I already did that, but I think there's a way I can turn this around. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Eliza. I can't be here right now. Ryan! Ryan! Uh, it's all right. Let him go. What is he doing? Nothing, nothing. Everything's fine. Let him go. He's fine. Liza, he's fine. Liza, is there a problem? Yeah. This is Liza. I would appreciate it if you call me when you get this message. Thanks. No word? No. I, I guess he must have gone to the Martins for the wedding. I, I have to call the Martins well, no, no. and warn no, them. No, 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 no. You can't do that. But if he doesn't show up, they'll accuse you of trying to run the wedding. Now, this is Ryan's problem. Let him handle it. He, he nearly botched a, a business deal. I mean, I had to tell Ms. Washington that he got ill. I don't know that she, she bought this sudden disappearing act. I mean, thank goodness Scott was here. Right, right. Ryan's behavior is inexcusable. That's what it is. Your day has been stressful enough having to turn Colby over to the Martins. And th this is getting way out of hand. Jake was frothing when he came to pick Colby up. I tried to reason with him, you know, one last time. No, he's beyond reason. Jake hates me so much. 
that he has to get control, complete custody of Colby. And he'll do anything he has to do to make that happen, including rushing into a ridiculous marriage. So I think we should take the offensive and stop it. What are you talking about? Jake's getting full custody or Jake's wedding? No. no. <laughs> getting custody, of course. Well, I hope Ryan won't do anything he'll regret. I admire a man who goes after what he wants. You don't think he's going to try to stop the wedding, do you? Would that be so tragic? A Ryan Gillian reunion would certainly put the kibosh on Jake's custody suit. I wish David Hayward had told me the truth at my wedding, or before it. Liza, I don't think you really mean that. We haven't exactly lived happily ever after. Well, we will. As soon as we get custody of Colby. I want Jake to be her father, Adam. Yes, you made that quite clear. <laughs> Why Gillian wants to marry that pasty-faced dullard is beyond comprehension. Maybe she loves him. Impossible. I loved you. Anything's possible. And you will love me again. You have my word for that. Well, we all know what that's worth. Ouch. I have an idea. Oh, another phrase I've come to dread. No, you were kind enough to loan Colby to Jake for his wedding. What are you talking about? Like something borrowed, something blue. Well, let's go pick her up and take her ice skating with us. Adam, I promised Jake. You, you honored your promise to Jake. The child is... She's a baby. She's an innocent. She needs our protection. From what? For nothing. Just, 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 let's no, just go. No, 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 no. We're not going anywhere. Not until you explain what's going on. And don't say nothing. You've been jumpy all day like you're in the middle of some sort of hostile takeover. What hell are you plotting? Must you always assume the worst about me? Would you like me to recite your rap sheet? The fact that you don't trust me with Colby hurts me. How about the fact that you tried to spirit her away to another country? I'm, I'm not the enemy, damn it. All I want is what's best for Colby. I, I'll tell you what, here's what we're going to do. We're not going to make any sudden moves until after the custody hearing. Fine. All right, fine. No sudden moves. That's fine. We'll just uh, congratulate the bride and groom and uh, gracefully exit with her daughter. No, we're not going to do any of that. Colby is with the chief. Oh, there you are, Liza. I want you to meet Paolo Caselli. And Paolo, this is my daughter, Liza Colby. Oh, and her soon-to-be ex-husband, Adam. Uh, anyway, Paolo is a recent transplant to Pine Valley from Tuscany, where he dabbles in uh, what you dabble in. Uh, why in the most of it? Oh, fine. Well, anyway, he's looking for a second home. Kind of, you know, a downsized grand palazzo. <laughs> oh, pleasure to meet you. Right. Um, Mr. Your uh, charming mother has been, uh, come on, uh, showing me around. Yes? <laughs> anyway, you said the Mercer property, you know, backs up near your house and your grounds. Might be for sale. Perfect for you. It's got a grand ballroom, an Olympic pool, tennis court. Actually, Mother, uh, the Mercers are no longer going to sell. Well, how ungracious of them. <laughs> Never mind, we'll find something that suits your needs. Oh, by the way, my daughter lives in the most prestigious area of Pine Valley. And where do you live? Uh, in the gatehouse on her property. Ah, that would make us neighbors, yes. An enticing prospect. Oh, really, Paolo. <laughs> Good evening, all. Uh, oh. So, Leo. Oh, Leo, uh, have you met my mother? We've met twice, actually. Once at the mall and once at the bar at the Valley Inn. Oh, how, could, how could I forget? I was admiring your hands. Oh, you're too kind, especially since I almost knocked you over. Uh, I, was, I was carrying those ridiculous flowers. We were having the private conversation, yes? And you would be? Uh, Paula Caselli, meet Leo Dupree. It's a pleasure. <clears throat> well... Um, I've got some prep work to do for Tat's show, so... Great, yeah. But it was nice seeing you again. You too. Yeah. Take care. And I've got a bunch of phone calls to make. Excuse me. Bye, darling. Come on, Paula. We should go through these listings. I know we're going to find something that will totally suit your needs. It's possible I already have. <laughs> now, this one on Arcadia Lane has a lot of possibilities, don't you think? I think we should uh, explore them, perhaps over dinner, yeah? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I already have other plans. Oh, but plans can be canceled. Oh, no, no, not these plans. You see, tonight is my, my first wedding anniversary. 
Why is it all the beautiful woman are married, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I was lucky enough to marry a man, a specialist, Stuart. He's also a great artist, you know. He Actually, he's been painting me recently uh, in the nude. <laughs> How I envy the paintbrush. Oh, Father, really? <laughs> Your idea? Who in blazes is this Paola Casale? Non capisco, signor. No, you capisco. I hired you to seduce Marion. Oh, in order to break up her marriage with, with her husband, is that right? Yes, yes, you got it. Well, you can consider their marriage headed for the rocks. This Mediterranean creep is your idea of a home record? Oh, Paolo is quite popular with the ladies, actually. Really? How does just how does he plan to seduce Marion? You ordered me to spare you the details, but I've seen Paolo work the dowager circuits from Palm Beach to Palermo, and I can I, I, I can guarantee you that satisfaction is guaranteed. All right, you better be right. This woman is wrecking Stuart's life. I want her out. Your wish is my command, sir. I'm not kidding, Dupre. If you blow this, you're going to regret the day you ever met me. What makes you think I don't already? I mean, this is hardly my dream job. But you're calling the shots. Yes, you're damn straight. And if you cross me, Palmer finds out that you live is safe. Mm -hmm. I guess it would be too much to expect stepdaddy to post my bail. So I'll do your dirty work. Your brother will find Marion between the sheets with Paulo. Stuart, darling, are you home or are you at the gallery? Ooh, an anniversary surprise? <laughs> the way you see. Will you be home soon? Ah, uh, not as soon as I'd like. I'm with a client. I'm about to make a huge commission. But I'd much rather be with you. Oh, don't rush. I know how important your job is. Oh, not as important as you are. Do you realize, Stuart, that one year ago today, you changed my life forever? I miss you terribly, darling. I miss you, too. Listen, I know when a client's about to commit, he's not there yet, but close, so I'll get home as soon as I can. Okay. I'll keep the, the frillies on the lamb until you get here. Okay, but when I get home, all bets and all frillies are off, okay? <laughs> mm, I love you. Wait, so. This one, it looks just like the villa I had in Tosca. God, you have to tell me about this house. Okay, let me look at the listing. No, no, I love it. I love it already. It looks like a home, huh? Follow your instincts. I mean, you know, you obviously you've fallen in love with this house, so congratulations. You found yourself a home, Signor Caselli. <laughs> I love the pool. I like But I also like that one, and so does you. Oh, well, nice that you're back. Can't we go see Colby now? Come on, find out how she's doing. Hey, she'd be in a good girl. Is that tooth bothering her? Look, let Jake and Jillian and Colby celebrate being a new family. And, and Dixie said that she would bring her here after the reception. If that doesn't happen, I will go alone and get no, her. Oh, Liza, come no, on. No, no argument. It's my insurance policy that you don't make trouble. <sighs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, well, why don't you just close your eyes and pick one? Mother, uh, could I speak to you just for a minute? Oh, sure, certainly. Uh, Excuse me. Oh, yes, of course. All right. Well, what is it, darling? Um, Mother, don't you think you should be home celebrating your anniversary? Oh, I just called Stuart. He knows I'm going to be a little late. Yeah. Well, since when did business uh, take over pleasure? Well, think of all the pleasure Stuart's going to have when I get this huge commission because I'm going to buy him a fabulous anniversary gift. Mother, I don't think any gift would make him happier than you do. That's just the point, Liza. Stuart's giving me a whole new life, and I want this anniversary to be just one he'll never forget. The night is the night. Get a good checkbook ready. I will be in touch. Excuse me, darling. Okay, great. Well, which one did you pick? Ah. 
Allora, because you are American, it's a, uh, there is no place like home. I choose the one that looks like my villa in Toscany. Oh, fabulous. That's a great choice, I may say. Grazie. I would like to look at the house tonight, yes? Oh, tonight? Yes, because I would like to close the deal. Okay, well, let's uh, call them on the way over. I'm sure they'll let you see the house tonight. Well, Betty. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. What am I accused of now? Sending Ryan Lavery to ruin my brother's wedding. Well, well, well. Well, I finally laid claim to what is rightfully mine. And it's a pity your family had to learn the hard way, but my daughter Colby comes first with me. Colby? What does Colby got to do with anything? Claiming what is rightfully mine. Pity your family had to learn the hard way, but my daughter Colby's needs come first. Colby? What has Colby got to do with anything? Well, Brian crashed the, the wedding. I'm sure that it was quite an upset. Oh, yeah, it was a real show. What has Colby got to do with Ryan? Well, I assumed Ryan was there to woo Jillian away from Jake. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> How would I know? I wasn't there. What did Ryan say? He didn't say anything. But then again, he didn't have to, did he? All he had to do was stand there and wait for Jillian to do something. Well, unrequited love is quite a burden. So the wedding went off as planned. Oh, yeah. Now, thanks to you, Jake and Jillian are now man and wife. <laughs> so you're, you're holding me accountable for the actions of a spurned lover? Oh, you bet I am. Oh, yeah. Because there's a lot more to it than that. Really? Well, why don't you use your dis de your anemic detective skills and go question L Ryan about it? Who do you think told me to talk to you? He warned me about something awful going down between you and my family. And that's where Colby comes in, isn't it? You gonna deny it? Deny it? Unequivocally not. declared war on me and Liza. Colby goes to the winner. And that's why you had Ryan show up at the wedding of oh. the Did I really? Yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it? Because all he's got to do is stop the wedding. Either that or cast doubt on Jillian's commitment to Jake. Either way, you bring it up in court. Make the argument that the wedding was nothing more than a marriage of convenience. Desperate grab by Jake to get custody of his daughter. I, my word, you, you, should, you should consider joining our legal team. Well, you just consider this old man. Colby has nothing to do with what is rightfully yours. And no matter what happens in that court, she's never going to. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Are you so sure about that, yeah. Ed? What I can't believe is after all the stupid, sadistic things you've done to screw up your own children, you'd be deluded enough to think that that baby belongs anywhere near you. Oh, you've uncovered my worst intentions. No, but I'm getting close. There's still something else, isn't there? Hmm. What did Ryan say? That, that's an interesting question for you to ask, especially since you asked him to show up. And Liza has been begging me for months not to dig too deeply in Colby's history because she was panicked that I would discover something. And now here you are, acting as if you know something, but your smarmy little lips are sealed. Is that right? <laughs> By Jove, Holmes. You are a clever boots, you are. Okay. What do you say you and I play a little game of 20 questions? Yeah. Hi, Liza. Hi. Hi. How's my girl? She's so good. Oh. She's such a good girl. Come here. She's oh. such a people person. Got it? Ready? Oh. Oh, hey, no. oh my goodness. Get y'all nice and warm. Okay. So did you take off the pictures? How was the wedding? The wedding was very interesting. Very interesting, uh, Ryan showed up stopped the ceremony for a little while uh but it went on um tad happens to think that adam was involved what mm -hmm. ryan sort of hinted at the fact that adam had something to do with him being there i don't know maybe to 
make Jake's part of the custody trial look bad? What, what, what could Adam say to Ryan to set him off? Well, you would know better than I. But it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Every time you turn around, you think Adam's getting better. It just gets worse. How fitting for a TV host. Number one, the secret, whatever it is, is about Colby. Yes. Number two, you and Liza know something that my family doesn't. Well, that list would be endless, but in this particular instance, yes. Number three, Ryan knows about it, and that's what you were hoping he would spill at the wedding. Technically, that's two questions, but we won't split hairs. My answer Don't is... Don't you dare say another word. Oh, Liza. Perfect timing. I was about five minutes away from finding out the awful truth. You could save me the trouble. I doubt it. Well, uh, Adam here tells me that you know something that could change the whole spin of this custody battle. The, this custody battle is not my idea. It's Jake's idea. He wants it this way, and so we're playing it his way. What do you say you and I declare peace? You lose the moron, I'll make sure he drops the custody suit. Look, Tad, you know what? He won't go for it. He won't do it. He's made up his mind. Liza, you swore you would leave Adam. Do it. You kick him to the curb, and I swear I will get him to reopen negotiations. Is there anything as insufferable as a self-righteous Martin? I'm looking at him. Liza? No, I know what you did. I know this little scheme of yours, having Ryan go and try to stop the wedding, ruining Jake's chances for the custody case. You know, and now you want to use Tad. And you know what? I'm not going to stand for it. Liza, you swore me to secrecy, and I've kept my word. In spirit, but in fact, you're leaking little bits of truth so all hell can break loose. Would it be so terrible if the truth came out? Everybody knows already. It's not Jake. All right, but Jake should know. He'd be forced to drop the custody suit. Are you, are you purposefully obtuse? I don't want him to know. I don't want it. Colby then loses her chances of the love and the security that I have wanted for her. You may not want that for her, but I want that for her. And, and my wishes just don't matter. Your wishes? You had your wish. You had your vote. All right, you remember that you tried to compromise and wooden-headed Jake refused. And now he's declared all-out war. And the truth is on our side. What good is the truth? If it could very well destroy me. Liza, revealing the truth can only work to our advantage. If I had gone to Jake the moment that I found out, maybe he wouldn't have blamed me. Maybe he would have felt badly for me. You don't need Jake's pity. I only held back for Colby. I was overwhelmed. Now Jake is going to see us as equally guilty. Guilty of loving our child with everything that's in us? keeping him in the dark. I had my reasons and you had yours, but in the end, our silence cost me everything. You know how many enemies I've had in this town? How long it has taken me to prove to people that I've changed. Opal, Ruth, the Martins have embraced me and they've forgiven me. Tad is my best friend and I don't want to lose that. If I tell Jake the truth and I tell him that I was involved in all of this, then, then I just go back to being the, the, the town scheming manipulator. And I don't want that. I don't want that back. Okay, I know. Believe me, I understand what you're saying. But it won't come to that. I won't let it. Don't you get it? Lies take on a life of their own. Colby is going to find out. And, and she's going to find out, and she's not going to understand, and she's going to blame me when you are the one who set the lie in motion. Me and my daughter are the ones who have to suffer the consequences, Adam. You're looking at the worst case scenario. There is no good case. If Tad goes and he digs up the truth, and he unearths the truth, I will never, ever forgive you. Colby and I will be lost to you. Those are hard words, Liza. I don't buy it. You're never going to be able to let go of me because I'm in your blood. I'm in your 
universo. Don't touch me. I'm gonna go get my daughter. 